You can see it in the view of this area here, so you can get a little better perspective of the frame. Look how beautiful this frame is coming out. Okay, now, granted that the original frame is welded, you know, they weld the original frame at the factory. To weld all these little pieces, I could do that, but that's a lot of work, you know, so I'd rather make all the pieces so that you can assemble this as an erector you set. You know, when I was a child, my dad, uh, one of the first toys that he gave me was an erector set. It was a fire engine erector uh, set, and it was all built, and I, the first thing I did, I, I took it apart, and I said, okay, I got bored with the original model, and then I took it apart and built myself, a, you know, something better. And so that's the reason why I love working with these parts, and that's the reason why I masterminded all these uh, parts and hardware and the selection of all these little pieces that I use here, uh, which has basically become a, a trademark in all the products that, that we do. So this follows along the same lines as the MIA Quicksilver style uh, ultralight and the GWS conversion kits, you know, that you, you've seen um, and many, many other products that, uh, you know, we've also done ultralights, you know, that I haven't shown yet. So this is in the same uh, style and flavor and assembly. So if you have bought one of those models from me on my flight in the past, you know, you can expect the same level of assembly here. It's a lot of fun assembling this. If you're the type of person that likes to assemble things and, and you know, as you're doing this, you know, you get some enjoyment, then I would say that this is this is the model for you. Um, you know, I do plan on, on making this one into a, a custom kit, meaning that I will not sell this to the general public, <clears throat> but if you are, you know, a Tanark owner or somebody that really, really wants one of these, you know, you're going to have to contact me and, and just request it from me. I can either sell you these in, in parts or I can sell you this and um, fully assemble. Um, but, you know, I would be taking some of the fun in assembling this, uh, you know, away from you. So, but, you know, you, you can see, you know, the quality here. And I'm, I'm not, I mean, this is just a frame. I mean, there's still some little parts that I need to make. And these are going to be uh, manufactured, you know, uh, uh, out of aluminum also. Um, CNC machined uh, brackets for the, the brace here. So there's a lot more that, that needs to be uh, done here. And I'm eager to, to work on those things. And I wish I had, you know, uh, multiple uh, me's. <laughs> so I can, you know, just assign each one of myself, you know, to do all these parts. Because only me right now in, in, my, in my head knows exactly how, how this needs to be done. Um, it's kind of hard to describe this. You know, I often try, try to explain this to my wife. And my wife, just, I, I go, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? And I mean, I can, I can be very, very over, overwhelming. You know, some people have a visual, uh, 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 almost a, a photograph in, the, in, their, in their mind when somebody describes something to you. And I'm that type of person. You know, you, you, you can describe me something and I already have a, a full movie of that going on in my head. And so that's the same with, with these things. You know, all I need to do is see a profile like here, and I, I already know what the top side and, and bottom looks like. Uh, but I still like to work, you know, with, with photographs and as many information that I can get when I'm working from, uh, you know, doing scale models. Of course, this has a lot of Mia Microflight's own little twists and, and tricks and little, you know, things. You know, the hardware that we use is consistent with what has become, you know, our trademark uh, uh, parts and uh, approach. So... But this is how this is turning out. Um, let me go back and put the seats back. And now the seat goes right there between these two clips here. Actually, this is the front one. And these are the seats, uh, the molded parts that are making up the, the framework for what's going to come next, which are the, the padded seats and backrests. And so that's what this is. But that's how this is going to be. Um, so I'm going to keep the seats. Uh, I'm not going to bolt them down, but you know all the hardware is uh, in place except for the, the nuts and bolts, uh, because I'm going to um, yeah I'm going to leave the seats out so that I can work on the on the rest of the you know I need to work work on two brackets here, one on the upper section here for for the brace this bar right here, which is the front uh, tube, so I need to work on two brackets and. Um, I'll probably be doing a similar, uh, similar uh, steering uh, wheel as I did on this guy here because I'm really liking this. This is very similar to the to the to the real thing. Um, and you can see the steering wheel is uh, is very stout. You know the the pilot seats here, and I and I'm not even. I mean, I could go crazy with details here. I mean, uh, there's footrests here that I could that I could make. Um, 
but the more you add things you know the more it adds to costs and you know complexity but you can see how that works right here and this is my own you know this is um based on the on the um it's almost very similar to the uh, lane, uh, uh, steering um to the, the suspension steering that I was doing for the BBW, the MIA Benson Brock uh, and Wallace Auto Gyro, the, you know, one of the first ones that I did more than 10 years ago. I did that model and I came up with this particular type of landing gear, uh, steering, uh, 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 steering uh, suspension. So, you know, if you will, uh, if, if you were to, um, I, don't have, I don't have the bands here with me, but this actually has two, two bands here. To, you know rubber straps and these these are you know high um, intensity rubber bands they're not your regular rubber bands and what that does is it keeps this in locked in place so if you were to come down a little bit higher here you know that gives and that gives you the suspension it's not suspension like a shock absorber but it does do the same pretty much the same thing if you were to come down on your nose and that was the purpose of doing that and you know, as I proved in, in that uh, those videos that I did, uh, you know, with the MIA BBW Auto Gyro, you know, I, I landed that so many, so many times higher while I was uh, uh, flying that model, and I was uh, actually trying to, you know, perfecting my my skills in flying these things, and so that was kind of my my test setup, you know, for the landing gear, and so I kept it here and I brought it on this particular one. So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more.